They say a guy once lit a cigarette inside a portable toilet and ended up blowing the whole thing up when the built-up methane gas ignited, leaving him with third-degree burns. To see if that story holds any truth, Adam brought freshly collected human waste into the lab to find out just how much methane it can actually produce. Wearing full biohazard gear, they split the waste evenly into three flasks, adding water to one, urine to another, and blue slime to the third. A fourth flask was left untouched as the control group. The goal? Figure out which mix gave off the most methane. After a few days of fermentation, each flask showed only tiny traces of methane. In other words, human waste alone can't build up enough gas to cause an explosion. But what if you pumped extra methane into a portable toilet? Then what? They bought a porta potty and drilled a vent on the side to safely release the gas if things got out of control. Tori set up a remote ignition system, then placed a test dummy on the seat. A methane tank was hooked up through a pipe, and firefighters stood ready just in case. Once everything was in place, they started pumping methane inside. At over 20% concentration, Tori hit the ignition switch, but nothing major happened. There just wasn't enough oxygen, so all they got was a small flame. After venting the gas, they tried again. This time, they placed a lit torch inside first, and then refilled the toilet with methane. When the level hit 9%, boom, the toilet exploded. It wasn't enough to send the whole thing flying, but the blast was strong enough to seriously burn anyone inside. So while smoking in a porta potty might not always blow it up, it's still a really bad idea.